Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another edition of X Television. And what we got for you today is a match from ESCA. This is uh, Ascent versus Velocity Gaming. Week one on Badlands. Both these teams going into this match are sporting a one and zero record with um, both teams like having a 5-0 for their first match, but um, being like a 42-minute game, so not necessarily a blowout. So these teams both, uh, you know, Starting to rock and roll this season. And without further ado, let's get the action started here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm not going to bother running down the rosters because uh, I held down the tabs button for you guys. Yeah, that's fancy technology. Um, so, uh, you know, we'll just uh, roll out from here. Jared on the demo man. Showstopper and Kryptonite. The soldiers here. Jared going to house. And uh, Pete Shamu going scout. Uh, I'm running camera work, and you guys get to see what I see, so we're definitely doing old-school XTV. A lot of third-person here today. Uh, as we see Patty jumping around, Jarrett getting pounded pretty good. Marmalou in the house. He's going to be able to finish off Jarrett. Uh, Shamu and um, Baradactyl going to have to run out. Slimnish, oh, God, I'm, camera needs, like, super turbo mode. I'm not flying fast enough to catch up with these guys. Marmalou um, <clears throat> chasing um, Shamu and Bear down, but they're going to get out. So, super strong first mid for Ascent here. They are all up in this base. Um, Nursey, a little bit of back and forth there. Are we going uh, right side? Are we just going to go main? They're just going to go main. Both soldiers on Toxic here. Uh, no Pyro up. A Sniper is up. S uh, skateboard Pete. Uh, going to be trying to do, do some tricks. Try to get something happening from down uh, left side. Looking at main. Uh, he is still on the snipes, but might have to change off here. Marmaluke getting the trade there. It works out. <clears throat> Classic standoff, though. And uh, just going to flip through, see where everybody's poked up. Badonski's uh, trying to get his take his time in here, but he's got nice traps set up on the side. Corsa, looks like they might go down low here, but no, backing it back up. Backing it back up. And this is where the rhythm of TF2, you know, slows down a little bit, but uh, important stuff here. As I'm flying aimlessly through the map. But, you know, both both teams have that uber charge, and something's going to break. Something is going to happen, I swear. I swear it. Uh, Marmalou. Uh, oh, we have Slimnish on Sniper. Um, that is what has happened. Is, uh... Ascent choosing to wait for Slimnish to come back. So, very disciplined from them to just say, okay, we, we have the time to wait here. Uh, we can send a player back to switch spawns. Slimnish checking them angles. He's going to work through stairs here. Doesn't see anything on top right side. Walking over. Uh, does take a pot shot at Kryptonite. But he does not have a pocket full of Kryptonite. Uh, so, uh, he gets away. Slamnash versus Pete here. Oh, Slamnash though. Mm, destroys Pete. Lines that up easy. He's going to go down low. And Ascent wants to sort of maybe push in here. But, you know, the longer this takes, uh, and then Pete's just going to come back up. So, looks like they're in there here now though. Uh, as a Showstopper Ubered uh, getting that flash. Um, looks like a pretty decent cycle for Velocity from their perspective. Marmalou uh, on that left-hand side, just watching through the walls as uh, Pete does get the kill there. Uh, Slemnish, though, with the uh, snipes. Uh oh source TV. And Velocity now picking off a kill, and that's uh, Slemnish. So, again, just very disciplined uh, from both these teams right now, taking their time. Velocity with uh, Pete hiding down low. Thinking of maybe getting a little bit forward. Pete, oh, okay, spotted by the uh, scout. I was right behind my own camera. And uh, Pete taken out. Uh, at least they do get the uh, kill on uh, Bedonsky. So Ascent without their demo man are like, okay, well, never mind. Never mind. Showstopper trying to come out the gates. Uh, and take lobby um, due to the fact that there's no demo traps 
So a little bit hard to uh, burst down uh, quickly. Pete's going to switch back to Snipes. Um, Badonski's backup will be out uh, again soon enough. Again, just, you know, team's being very patient here, but that's like really what you have to do uh, in this scenario. Okay. Shamu runs down Slemnish, so good kick kill there. Uh, then trying to rotate over to drop down side. Might engage here. Since he does sort of, you know, have the advantage here. If he plays it cautiously, there's no reason he should uh, lose this fight to Corsa. Um, of course, you know, Corsa doesn't have to take that fight. Um, Showstopper has gone down. And I uh, wonder if they will. Oh, okay, Pete did end up cycling spawns. He's a uh, pyro now. Ubercharge is out, but Pete uh, right away is like, okay, well, maybe I'm a little too late for the pyro. So he backs up and switches classes. Showstopper's back up here, so. And uh, right now, uh, the push trying to come in here. Showstopper getting in the face of uh, Nursey. But uh, just does uh, 50 damage. Doesn't get the kill. Marmalu up top. Uh, gonna hide on the inner ring for a second and then drops down. And there you go. Uh, got a little wacky there uh, after the uh, Uber exchange. And um, kind of just like the following fight. <clears throat> but uh, Ascent able to take that. The uh, jump up by the uh, Showstopper not really getting uh, enough done. All right, Badonski just a little bit quicker out of the gates. Uh, Kryptonite jumping across over to the train. Uh, doesn't get uh, too much work done. Nursey still full health. Jared on top of the train. And uh, Showstopper jumping in. Uh, doesn't really get uh, full damage on Corsa. Two down for Velocity. Jared fighting on the point. Showstopper down low. Does see Badonski down low as Badonski uh, falls down. Nursey, good positioning though. Um, she's just going to move forward. Heal up Badonski uh, to also just further rotate away from Showstopper. And uh, there we have it. Ascent with another strong mid fight. So they're going to work up uh, right hand side. Uh, Spire. And uh, climbing up into lobby. Not quite as speedy, not quite as fast of a mid fight as last time. They did still win it pretty convincingly. Uh, but uh, Baradactyl is back uh, with uh, an uber charge. Uh, fully charged. At the ready. Um, Slim is still on scout, uh, which, you know, I mean, that's how he rolled out to mid, so, you know, expecting changes there would be a little ambitious to just already sort of assume he has the time or uh, wants to go sniper, so on the scout right now, but maybe we'd see a, a sack or something. Uh, looks like they wanted to go uh, left side here, but got stuffed pretty hard. Um, Marmalou and Patty both uh, pretty banged up. Um, she's just going to have to arrow heal him. And uh, rebuff up some uh, people. Slimness just kind of tucked in on the side there. And Pete just working that top left to, the, for, to snipe from. Uh, thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. Just definitely, you know, trying to get a little bit more. Uh, ooh, never mind. Uber's coming in as. I should shut up. The uh, scout getting pushed in all the way, Corsa, but it looks like it's just going to be a straight cycle as they're already kind of trying it. Well, I don't know. Said they were trying to get out, but uh, Patty and Corsa stays in, stay in. So actually, uh, we're able to tempt a Velocity into uh, overextending significantly. Now the fight going on on the point. Ooh, Velocity not going to be able to do it. Shamu, the last scout standing. Um, and a noble attempt there, but... Uh, weird kind of post Uber exchange. I sort of thought that Patty and um, I guess it was Corsa over right over that away where my crosshair was looking. Um, I thought that they were going to get sandwiched as the Uber faded, but um, instead they got the kill on Kryptonite, pushed forward, and then as Nursey retreated, she got covered very well and, uh, uh, you know, no problems. Uh, the uh, Soldiers for Velocity not getting the most out of this mid. Kryptonite kind of coming in so late that he was able to get the easy kill. Um, but at the other hand of it, you know, the uh, effect of the soldiers not doing much um, created a lot of space for Velocity. They were getting a lot done, but uh, Badonski, as I can't really find him, in the house. Badonski did get the kill on Bear there. <laughs> Nursey stuck. Oh, poor Nursey. She was waiting for a response, completely disconnected. So, yeah, sort of an odd uh, mid-fight in the sense that, like, Showstopper jumped over here to, to, to stop house. Uh... And just like waited 
Kryptonite was behind and just like waited. Showstopper just died right away. Kryptonite got like an easy from behind kill and then didn't do a whole lot after that. But, uh, you know, just being a distraction sometimes and spreading the other team out can do a lot for you. Kryptonite gonna get picked off on diagonal. Uh, called out. Patty shoved back. Nursey down on trash side. She's gonna be all right though. Curse, Curse is down there. Badonski's down there. Patty up top. He's gonna get th that, uh, okay, actually he's gonna rotate for the big health pack into the trash. Nursey taking a rocket to the face. Showstopper getting in there. Oh, nice combo by Showstopper. Uh, Pete gets a kill on the side there, but, um, you know, even though Showstopper got that kill on Nursey, they're not gonna be able to push forward and get the capture. Uh, Pete, um, outside of house, they're, they're waiting for Bear to get up and get some heals. Of course, it was poking along there, um, but, uh, wasn't able to find anything. So, some signs of life out of, uh, Velocity. They have not stopped yet. I was gonna say before that push, like, a couple minutes ago happened. Thanks for joining me again, ladies and gentlemen. It's fun to, uh, cast some more TF2. I did some solo casts. Um, for the rewind qualifiers real quick and uh, you know solo x time casts uh, sometimes we, we get some dead time but you know I, I like the quiet I like the quiet it gives us everybody a time to to think about team fortress to think about what's happening to think about whether Pete is gonna do anything on this spy Ooh, of course it goes down and Pete Pete has seen everything he's gonna decloak quite a bit of ways from the combo He's poking in. Nobody's really looking at him. There's the all oh, stab by Pete. Yeah, nicely played by Pete. Well positioned. Took the time to make it happen. And now pressure on Badonski. Uh, Shamu almost uh, takes too much damage there. Uh, but they're going to be all right. Uh, Marmalade is going to go for this uh, bomb from behind. Corsa out here as well. Oh, my. How did you miss that shot, Corsa? But, you know, it happens. It just, it looked so easy from our, our third person perspective. Like Jarrett was just like standing um, and uh, standing still. But, you know, maybe he even hit him. I, I don't know. I don't know. I could be the, I could be the asshole in this situation. Uh, Baradactyl uh, takes a little bit of errant spam from Badonski. And uh, that's going to have to push things back a little bit. But they are going to pop the Uber here. Oh, Jarrett getting uh, thrown forward here. As uh, level three is up, they do take it down. Shamu's down on the ground, gets on the point. Uh, the defense trying to rally in here. Badonski eats a pipe. And a sticky from Jarrett. So there you go, 2 1 now. And we'll see what uh, Ascent does for the rollout here. Patty, gunboat pocket, bouncing himself forward. And Badonski ever so swiftly on his way to middle. Looks like they're going to take the same approach. Nursey just walking ramp up again. Corsa guarding uh, the shack. Kryptonite has jumped around. Is going to find Corsa in the house. Is going to get the kill. Badonski and Nursey having to back up here. Slemnis just suiciding. Oh, there goes Kryptonite. But Nursey surfs it up to the bats. Smooth moves from our global land champion she's a real crowd pleaser um, of course she's not she's not the current land global champion uh, since we did have the I series in the summer and uh, ascent not the champions of that um, but uh, we will see what happens at rewind too it will be another international land only one uh, fully international uh, team in attendance um, being seven. Um, I don't. I don't think the Portland Burnsiders count as a foreign entity. Uh, we're 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 weird, but we're not that weird. Not that foreigners are weird. It's just it's just different. Kryptonite jumping up here, Slimnish uh, pushing him back, and uh, Pete going down. Um, Kryptonite um, not making it happen. All right, uh, Badonski, ouch, gets. Totally brutally brutalized by that trap on the door. Showstopper getting thrown up in the air. And uh, nice uber pop. Saving Jared. He's, he's getting thrown around. Good flashes on Shamu. Patty and Slemnish have gone down. Nursey gets a rocket as she's on her way out. Oh, and there's a cap going on in the back. Pete skating his way in there. 
And uh, going to be taking it to a 2-2 tie as we um, head towards halftime. Next uh, next round will take us there. 15.46 on the clock, so not any problem uh, with time length there. Watching from Jared's perspective as... Oh, God, he's invisible. Um, <clears throat> as they kind of trade decently. Great setup from Velocity out of the gates. Uh, Kryptonite with that big jump across, setting it up. But uh, then just runs back, doesn't really get anything. Marmalu all the way back behind. Corsa pushing forward here as Patty uh, has gone down. Corsa fighting on Grey Bridge, standing strong, trying to be a boss. Kryptonite has gone down. Shamu, though, getting those um, heals from Bear. We'll just run all the way back. So, Bear surviving pretty confidently. Um, and uh, Ascent is going to get the easy capture on Spire, although maybe not too easy. Uh, Badonski getting aggressed on. Um, and Slemnish, uh, of course, combining for the kill on Shamu. Shouldn't really affect anything, though, in terms of the hold for last. But a good attempt by um, Velocity to get out here and maybe get a kill on Badonski. Wow, Slimish is, oh my god, got so far behind, but does get demolished. Patty and Showstopper trading some rockets down low. And uh, Showstopper is going to just barely sneak away there. Marmalade did go down. Slimish coming back up, still on scout. Pete grabbing the uh, health pack in the lobby, but then, wow, that must have must have been a nice pipe, Mr. Badonski. Uh, Showstopper getting a little bit forward here. Takes some big shots from Corsa. And Corsa's like, nah, dude. I'm going to put a stop to that. And uh, they do want to take it in. They're holding it for a bit, though. This is good patience from Nursey and Corsa. <clears throat> Jared has gone down as well to Badonski. And uh, uh, Uber defensively used now from Velocity. Marmalu, ooh, on the spy. <laughs> I don't think he's going to do anything. <laughs> As uh, too much pressure on the cap earlier. And uh, there we go. We are into halftime, ladies and gentlemen. Um, fun little fun little chunk of time there. Um, and a, a good first half. 3-2 on the boards. Um, velocity definitely showing some life uh, for sure. Uh, but, you know, Ascent looking pretty strong. Both teams, you know, being pretty patient uh, with things. And that's, you know, definitely something that uh, higher level teams... Uh, you know, exhibit maybe not all the time, uh, but you know, in TF2, you really, really got to make sure that things are are ready to go uh, when you're when you're trying to uh, push in. Uh, so it, you know, the the patience from Ascent means that they're not you know losing any uh, they're not losing any opportunities. Um, you know, and with velocity, they're not they're not losing faster. You know, they're not just bleeding rounds. Um, that's something that, uh, you know, it's really easy to get discouraged when you're sort of losing uh, and then end up, you know, over committing and end up, you know, really losing. Uh, Jared coming out faster than Badonski this time. There you go, Jared. As uh, Ascent now in the red, still going to walk it up there. Ramp Bear doing the same thing. Both teams fairly traditional. Showstopper has gone down. The great flank from Slimness here. But Bear dodging uh, most of the damage here. But it might be the follow-up bomb from Kryptonite. Uh, or no, excuse me, uh, Marmalo. Um, I, I was still locked into uh, Ascent being blue and Velocity being red. Halftime switch. Mind blown. Uh, both scouts um, end up being the victors, though, uh, out of that. Um, both medics having gone down. Everybody else pretty much dead. And uh, Shamu... Nice little ledge spot there. Oh, but Patty calls him out. He ain't got time for that. And um, just like that, looks like Ascent is going to get the recapture here. And Velocity playing real cautious. All right, that sort of thing. You know, they only lost one player. But uh, it, was, it was enough to make them think twice. Now Kryptonite, though, this is a great push through Valley. Showstopper going down as well, and Velocity in trouble. Baradactyl taking more damage, more spam. It's Jared who's going down. Baradactyl couldn't save him. And Ascent has flipped a script. Nursey pushing Corsa through Diag. I like it. Really just giving that mobility, that speed to the to the medic. 
But on the flip side of things, you know, Velocity just conceded uh, Spire with five people. Ascent going to capture Spire with five people. Oh, uh, we do have a spy out here. Pete going to try to make some more magic happen. Which might be part of the reason why uh, Velocity was so willing to just kind of back up from that. Pete will see Patty jumping around. Will see Nursey up there. Gotta wonder what the best route of attack will be. They might get suspicious soon here if they don't. Um, I mean, they sort of seem suspicious already. Of course, is like waiting on a forward spawn. I mean, that's smart. That's smart. Uh, but they are definitely suspicious of Pete. Um, just waiting. <clears throat> They haven't seen a sniper yet, you know, so it seems like fairly confident something funky's up. Of course, they're coming in now. Quick buff for, for him. Everybody real healthy on the ascent side. Pete now making some moves. Goes out through the shutter. Uh, I don't know if Slimnish saw any of that. And uh, now ascent's going to go in. Pete definitely has wasted a fair amount of time on that spy. And has uh, has switched to uh, Pyro, so got some intel with that spy spy uh, class selection. But in the end, has to sneak his way out towards uh, forward spawn and change classes. Sent looking for something in the uh, off Uber engagement here. They were able to find success in that previously. We do have Pete now on sniper. A little more traditional. Uh, Ascent having to build now as um, basically Velocity were able to squeeze like a 10% advantage out of that. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a lot easier to build while you're on defense, but you know, just an interesting note. We'll see if they take this in with uh, Corsa or where they go with it. <laughs> just sort of frowning. I don't have the face cam up right now. You guys would have seen my frown. Like, what is Nursey doing on bats right now? But they're just waiting, making a lot of medic calls. And it uh, looks like, yeah, here they go. Of course, they're going to Uber it in. Just really trying to traditionally get in there, force the Uber back out. And uh, once again, Patty and Corsa kind of going top right, right after the Uber fades. As Nursey stays back with uh, Slemnish and Bedonsky. But as you can see, just that overall engagement really did not work out so well for Ascent. Uh, I think in that case, they didn't have the same sort of kind of follow-up potential. Uh, I wonder if that is a bit of a play. Um, just, you know, Patty and Corsa taking that top right after the uh, Ubers are cycled. It's definitely good to, you know, have that deeper understanding of what, you know, your teammates are expecting out of each other. Marmalu got a kill on Kryptonite on the side and is in a good position to kind of, like, continue pressure at least a little bit but then does get picked off showstopper and uh, uh patty trading as ascent um are getting the capture on spire and velocity have bled some players they just got kryptonite back up but corsa wants to go in Badonski's here they're top right very very slim advantage and looks like they're gonna have to wait for players here marmalu on spy it's going to be a while for Marmalou comes in, though. And here's the Uber in. Uh, of course, a dumping bound low. And uh, the stickies have been popped. Oh, Slemnish. Almost finishing the capture there. But uh, Velocity having to charge forward, having to get on the point to put a stop to that. Oh, but it's Marmalou on the spy. Marmalou, you cheeky dog, you. Spy crabbing it up. And that takes us to four to two, ladies and gentlemen. Ascent now on um, match point here. In this regular season ESEA match. Showstopper jumping up, getting real aggressive, gets the nice rocket on Podonsky, and then jumps around to Diag. Lands on that ledge over there too, so super quickly he's getting the full wraparound on Podonsky. Shoots him in the behind and gets the kill. Corsa trying to get on top of Jarrett. Marmalou's over there as well. The, the rest of Ascent is out, though. Let's see if I can pull up Shamu real quick here. Chasing down Nursey. 
Sees that she's gonna climb the stairs. Oh my god, I love that jump around the bottle. So that she doesn't see him coming uh, via the stairs. That's a huge frag. But uh, Velocity do have Marmalou behind. Have to be uh, mindful of that. Jarrett. Just keeping an eye on his stickies for now. Didn't, sort of wanted to jump across, but, you know, wanted to keep those stickies up. He's going to jump up to Bats now. We have a sentry going up. And we got a Pyro. It is a full, uh, pretty much a full Uber ad for Velocity. See if they're going quick. The outlines are showing us that it does look like they are. So I kind of want to stay on slimness here. As I switch over. Just seeing who else my options are. Okay. The charge is in. The uh, Reflex is doing a pretty good job of keeping the gun up. There's a, a player on the point. Marmalou has to jump down low. Uh, Jarrett's here as well. Jarrett with the capture. Nicely done, Jarrett. As, uh, you know, the original pressure on the point, pretty excellent. Um, and then Jared, even though he was getting knocked around, uh, was uh, still able to get that. Ooh, Badonski, so slick. So slick, Badonski. Oh, he doesn't even want that health pack. He just wants to get out the door first. But uh, Jared is more healthy, so Jared's going to be able to keep fighting for a while. Jared gets thrown back, is going to soak up some heals. We have Patty with the jump around fake out. Uh, comes back to uh, help out the medic. They have Kryptonite uh, behind. Showstopper coming in. Oh, chose a nice time to jump up. But didn't really have enough loaded. Uh, had to whip out the uh, melee. So, Ascent. Uh, oh, oh, wow. 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 Uh, that's about all I have to say about that. I thought we were past this era. Um, I, thought, I thought we were done with this. Um, but apparently we're not. So... It's been a while. It's been a while since I've done this. And apparently that's what you get. That's what you get. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the final score, if you, you couldn't guess, was um, Ascent 5-2-3 over Velocity Esports. Um, I guess they had a, a STV issue there. Cut off early. Um, so there we have it. Um, I, I watched this game fresh with you guys. So unfortunately, I did not know that that was coming. Um, but uh, there we have it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, coverage of uh, this uh, ESEA match between Ascent and Velocity. I had fun. Um, I feel like I uh, learned some things. Um, hopefully you guys learned some things, and hopefully you guys just enjoyed um, the coverage of TF2. Um, you know, I'm kind of busy doing my own gameplay during match times, um, but definitely we'll see if I can get some live uh, match coverages uh, going a little bit more often. Um, either way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Eckstein, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out!